Stay, stay with us a bit, would you, Jack? I have to, I have a, to bring out a, another gentleman. Well, I can just listen now, huh? Sure. I don't have to talk, just listen to No people. pressure. All right. No pressure. My next guest is a remarkable uh, chap. You know, he has his own TV show on CBS. He's, he performs in nightclubs. He has best-selling records. He goes to college in his spare time. Uh, although he's been there before, he runs uh, his own companies. He co-hosts uh, an educational show, children's program called The Electric Company, and he still finds time to pick up a few dollars dropping by here, mowing lawns, and repairing television sets, Mr. William Cosby. Good to see you, Cos or William Henry Jr., I think it is. Isn't it William Henry Cosby? Or junior. Something like that. Yeah, yes. why do I remember that? You never, you never use the junior. Yes, I do. I use it whenever, uh, at the end of anything that I do that's creative. I use my whole name then. Ah. For instance, if I, if I produce a show, it'll oh, be yeah. William Henry Cosby Jr. If I wrote the show, it'll be William Henry Cosby Jr. Yeah. You know, when I just you... perform it, it's Bill Cosby. But it, yeah, and those other things, you feel you use your whole self or you're more dignified if you're with William It's almost Cosby. like my title. You know, it makes my mother happy, too, because she, yeah. she knows me as William Henry Cosby, Jr. Yeah. <laughs> the other people made me Bill. Yeah, but yeah. to her, you'll always be William. Yes, or Junior. <laughs> no matter how big you get. There was a friend of yeah. mine, his name is Charlie Janaret. And Charlie and I played uh, football at Germantown High School together. And Charlie was 6'5", uh, when he was in high school, 6'5", he weighed about 258 pounds. And he made all state as a tackle. That's how big he was. He'd just stand up. And panic would set in on the other team, and guys start running sideways and everything. And he'd just pick up everybody, you know. Yeah. So he made all state, and then he went to Penn State and made All-American. And then he played for the, uh, for the New York Giants de uh, defensive tackle. And Charlie's 6'5", 265 pounds, you know, and he's out there killing, well, not killing, but he's really causing a lot of panic in the hearts of people carrying balls and having to block. Yeah. And, and he's 20, uh, 23 years old, and I went by his house, we were gonna go to this party. And his mother said, Junior! And that was the funniest sight I ever saw in my life, man. 265 pound <laughs> dude, 6'5", and his mother said, Junior! Because in his yeah. house, He's he junior. was still junior. You get in here and you clean know. up your room. But don't say that to Charlie outside of his house. <laughs> I'd be the last. His name is Big Chuck. <laughs> yeah. No, you'd be next to last. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> you uh, You're kind of an all-around jock yourself, aren't you? You were a football player. You played for Temple? Or was it you played for a Temple? No. <laughs> Temple. <laughs> no, that's Sammy Davis, right? <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Yes. Tell him who, who my biggest fan is. I my mother. Him. That's right. My mother. See, so I, wherever I'm... I play, Bill brings his mother to see me. And he no, plays my mother makes Vegas. me bring her. <laughs> <laughs> I like that better. I like that better. No, you see, I'm, I'm, from, I like that. I'm 35 years old. I'm, I'm from, uh, <laughs> I, I straddle radio and television. In other words, yeah, I, was, I was like 18 years old before we got a TV set. It's called Teleking, and you put a quarter in it, and you get an hour's play. So you had to consume that time. If you only had a quarter, see, you would have to figure out what was on and what shows you wanted to see, you know? Because yeah. the quarter went for an hour, and you turn it off during the commercials. To save. So you could save that whole hour. But yeah. radio was the big thing for me, and I listened to Jack, I loved all comedians. Yeah. I loved uh, uh, Jimmy Durante's show, um, Jack Benny's show. Yeah. Uh, I loved Arthur Godfrey, but only the comedians. But the opera singers would always win, you know, because people thought that was hip to vote for the opera singer, you know. But I the know. comics came. I probably heard Lenny Bruce on Arthur Godfrey's show and didn't know it at the time. Did but, you hear Ingeborg Nordquist? Wh whose show was that on? Arthur Godfrey, I don't know why, I was once in the basement shoveling coal. I had a Dickensian childhood. I was shoveling coal into the furnace and the Arthur Godfrey show was on. 
and a girl named Ingeborg Nordquist sang, Love is where you'll find it. And, <laughs> and I never forgot. Funny, I, I knew he could do that. <laughs> wow. And I never forgot her name for some reason. I just love that name, Ingeborg Nordquist. Probably Barbara Streisand today. Maybe. Yeah. The name didn't work. No, or... that name, that kind of name, I would probably not listen to it anyway. You know. Ingeborg, why? Yeah, well, is because this? there's no Nordquist anywhere in North Philadelphia. <laughs> and anybody named Ingeborg, I know they ain't gonna tell no jokes. <laughs> no. And people who sang like that, we had one violin player. Um, and see, I lived in the projects, and we, our rent was like uh, $32 a month. It was the first housing projects ever built in Philadelphia. And we had a kid, his name was Ronald McRae. Now, first of all, when I grew, in, in my growing up, there are certain things that are attributed to either you are a sissy or you are a man. For instance, if you, um, if you played any kind of musical instrument other than the saxophone or a drum, you were a sissy, you see. Maybe trumpet. No, no, you were a sissy, you were yeah. a sissy. And the guy said, well, you had to go and play this thing. You know, guys do the thing, la, 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 la. You had to play that. So Ronald McRae's mother made him take violin lessons. Oh, a guy, and, and guy who we plays hated it. the worst. We hated it, man. And Ronald would play before the assembly program. <laughs> so now Ronald McRae will play the dance of the dying swan. <laughs> you know, and everybody sit there and say, oh man. And we would beat Ronald up <laughs> for making us listen to that, you know? Because we oh. felt, look, Ronald, That's... you could have said, I don't know the tune. <laughs> you know? But see, and listen, then... I, are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> no, I appreciate the violin now. It's the key instrument. Because I have a choice. You see, I appreciate it now, but when I was growing up, I mean, this is not the philosophy of the kids. I mean, of, of the parents, it's the philosophy of the, of the, the, the kids. Mm -hmm. That this, the, the, you know, when we listen to you, we laughed at that, Jack. And that's all you could play. I mean, to us on the radio. Now, the biggest thing is like, Ronald could have really been hip had he learned the flight of the bumblebee. Because that was hip, because the Green Hornet was that. You know, and we always said, hey, Ronald, do the thing. Ronald said he couldn't play that. <laughs> but then you say, what can you play, Ronald? Man, whatever it is. You don't want to hear that when you're young, because your body's moving faster than the music. <laughs> you know? But today, I can sit and listen to you, Jack, with 90 pieces and appreciate it. And I would appreciate it more than anybody because I don't know anything about classical music. So I wouldn't know when you were wrong. I would say, isn't that wonderful? I don't know where I'm wrong. I, I never know where I'm wrong or right. I play the best I can. I don't know where I'm wrong and that's, or right. And that's the best thing that can happen to you. Because sometimes you can play. Are you in this? Oh. <laughs> I, I thought so for a moment, but oh, I don't know what came over Well, me. we can carry this on alone. Yeah, come on. Well, no, no, wait a minute. I know, I know exactly. <laughs> what, what, I, mean. I, know, I know exactly sure, what you're talking sure. about. Sure. You're talking about violin. Violin. Whether they're good or not. What, that's right. And, and you know that once they learn to play a good number, you would know. That's right. Yeah, that's of course. Right. Of course. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Sure. I pinched you and you didn't feel it. <laughs> If I were younger, I'd have felt it. <laughs> Actually, I pinched your billfold, I think, which is what... We, we, we must take a message. I hope you solved that. We'll be right back.